All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your city wire connection in your RV and give you a couple of reasons on why you might have to actually do that, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. So we have got our uh, 2018 Jayco J Flight trailer here. One of the last times we went out, we were using the fresh water tank in this thing and uh, the wife went to go use the toilet and I was outside still finishing setting up some things. And then all of a sudden, out of the freshwater connection, we just had gushes of water just spewing out of it. And I couldn't really figure out what had actually happened. But come to find out, we did a little bit of research in this unit here, uh, there is, and it makes sense, there's a check valve that is actually in that. So when you've, you're energizing fresh water in, it checks back and lets the water in. And then when you're using the water pump, it actually goes the other direction and locks in so you don't have that, you know, water spewing out. Now we found out the hard way, pretty much that check valve is garbage, it's trash. Uh, so what we are going to have to do, we actually ordered a replacement. We actually ordered a replacement, uh, whole system here. So we're going to go check that out and then we're going to see what we need to do to get this thing, uh, changed out. So this is our, uh, replacement unit. We got it off Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. Uh, same manufacturer, this B and B on it. It's got your screen and then... On the back side here, I'm not sure if you can see that, there is a little uh, check valve in there. So, all right, so we, we got the screen out of there. And you can see that there's the check right there. And what happens is when you're pushing water through it, it pushes out, it's spring loaded. So when you got fresh water, you know, coming in, and then when, you, when you've lost that pressure, it retracts back and makes a seal. So we are assuming that that seal is compromised and that is why we are gonna replace this. It's a whole unit. I've seen some people say they just replaced the check, but it's not too terribly hard to just do this. So let's go ahead and dive into uh, under the sink here and uh, see where we gotta start. Okay, we got this is our fresh water inside here. Here's the back side of that valve that we're gonna replace. Essentially, all we had to do was come in and spin this guy off and it popped right out. And that's pretty much all you need to do from the back side of this. It's not terribly hard. We're gonna take the new valve and go on the outside and uh, get that thing going. But the one thing you do wanna make sure that you save is this little, um, compression fitting here that goes back in here uh, to lock everything in so you definitely make sure you don't lose that so we're going to put that up there now we're going to go outside and remove uh everything uh from the outside so city water connection here on the outside here I'm just going to come in here and uh gently loosen these guys up All right, so we're getting ready to pull this out. We've taken our razor blade in here and just got under the butyl tape and just kind of just gently kind of come around here, slowly started pulling it away. And there we go. And that's pretty much it for that. You can can definitely see in the other one, we were able to pop that check valve in this one, not so much. So looks like uh, that was our issue, check valve bad. So we're gonna clean uh, these edges up here, get it all nice and good, and then be ready to uh, butyl tape the new one and then pop it back in. So we got all the putty removed Took our mineral spirits there, cleaned that up real nice. 
got the rest of that putty off there. Then we went back and got uh, our butyl tape going uh, on our valve going back in. And I started the one hole here so that when we're putting this thing in here, we can get it lined back up into that factory hole. And then we'll get this other one started. And then from here, we'll just gently start screwing these guys in. Okay, they're screwed on there pretty good. We're looking at that seal across there. Definitely want to make sure, go around there and make sure that thing got sealed real good. You definitely don't want any cracks here. If you have any water penetrate through this, uh, definitely gonna not be good for your trailer. So it's always good to put a little extra on there and then you can cut it and trim it later once it uh, it seals. So that actually looks pretty good. Check valve working all right. So we'll pop the little uh, filter thing on the front side of this and that'll be done. And then we just got to go inside and hook that back up. And we are back inside now. So we've got our new setup in there. We got our old line got that little compression fitting there just gonna stick that right on the end nice and gentle and put that on there So we just put it on by hand. It uh, it came off by hand. So we'll just check uh, to make sure that there are no leaks around this. Uh, may get the wrench around here just to give it a little quarter tighten just to make sure that it's sealed up. But that's pretty much it. That's how you replace that. Uh, definitely uh, not the hardest thing to do. Uh, but you can do it so make sure if you got something out of this make sure to hit that like and subscribe button make sure you are notified so when we do uh, repair work on these rvs you get to see it first and until then we'll see you guys in the next adventure